Here's a tutorial how to set up PDNet for your Mac. You must have 10.5 or higher on your computer to install. On your phone, you will go into Market and download PDNet. While it's downloading, go to your home screen, hit your menu button, and select Settings. Then you'll go and select Applications. Make sure Unknown Sources is marked with a green check mark and then select development. There you'll select USB debugging. Make sure it has a green check mark. After that, pull down your notification bar and make sure that PDNet has downloaded. Select PDNet and hit enabled USB tether. Once you do that, a screen will pop up. Hit yes, let me download. Once you do that, it'll take you to the website. You'll pick Mac OS 10.5 dash 10.6 what this will do is we'll take you to the next page to download which you'll hit download to download the program for your Mac computer when the download is complete connect your phone to your computer via the USB cable once that is complete pull down your notification bar and select USB connected other devices like the Droid X will ask you to pick USB mode then you'll turn on USB storage. Once your phone is connected to your computer, go to No Name on your desktop, select Downloads, then select the file PDANet242 and drag it to your desktop. Exit the window and double click on the file you just dragged. Hit continue, select your computer to download it, then hit continue, then hit install. Some Macs will show new connection. Hit new connection and then it'll show apply to save that connection. Then your computer will restart. After your computer is restarted, go into PDNet under applications and select enable USB tether. This time, hit No Already Installed, and you should get a screen that looks like this. On your computer, you'll go up to the top and you'll see a PDNet icon. Select that, and you'll hit Connect. Notice there will be a little globe blinking. If you see this, go into your Wi-Fi icon and open Network Preferences. Go down to the bottom of that new window to assist me and then click on assistant. Hit continue. Then pick I use a cable modem and then hit continue and then continue one more time. After that, exit out of that window and you'll notice new connections have popped up. Once you see that, you should see the little icon on top have the globe that's not blinking. Once that's all set, you can click on Safari and start browsing the internet. Although PDNet allows you to use it for free, the paid version will give you license to secure websites like online banking. If you do online banking or want access to secure websites, I recommend buying the registration code, which you can find at junefabrics.com slash Android.